Hey up, well it's took me over four months to do this pint in the pub for you. So I'm going to start now and I'm going to uh, go through them all again. Uh, and this is my little review from uh, 1 to 10. So uh, I only really did 9. Uh, but I'll come to that in a moment and you'll know why. So uh, it's just for a bit of fun. There's nothing serious about it, and this is just me. Uh, I'm no expert at anything like this, uh, and it's just uh, it's just my thoughts on these pubs. So here we go. Number one was the Rotherham Town Centre, the Plough, uh, formerly known as the uh, the Effingham. Now, this was a real surprise to me. The landlady were great, nice pint of John Smith's, uh, and it was only two pound twenty a pint. Now, that proven to be the cheapest pint of beer out of the whole series that I did. Uh, really nice pub, really surprised me this one. The number two was the Midland at Masbra. Now, this is still doing the business. It has its own regulars. Not a lot. Of much being done to this but it's there for a reason and it's keeping going now this for John Smith's again so I'm moving on to number three uh, and this were the fairways at Brinsworth uh, and this is the one that uh, didn't get done and it didn't get done because the uh, the landlady or the person who runs the uh, the pub she didn't start while early evening uh, and the cleaner or the cleaning lady who was there at the time she couldn't let me in to do uh, to start filming which I understood so I'll not be going back there unless I get an invitation now moving on to number four was the yellow broom at Bramley now this was the first micro pub I know that it's not fitting in with the traditional pub that I've never been in in 40 years. But this is a brand new micro pub and it's on the old footprint of the uh, the master brewer at Bramley. Uh, and it's only less than a quarter of a mile from where I live so I had to give it a good in that. Now, as I say, it's a micro pub. And it is just that it is micro you get about 20 people in and you get about 12 15 people sat outside one good thing about it is they do serve real ale but they don't take cash it's called payment only so if that's your thing then it's well worth a try moving on to number five was the Wilton at the bottom of Kimberworth. Now, I really like this place. The landlady, she was great. She was really chatty, really accommodating. I answered all my questions and it was a great pint of beer. Number six. Now, number six was the hilltop at Richmond Park. Now, this is another pub that's been there yonks and yonks, but it's the only pub in that area. It has a big room, big lounge, uh, come stage area, uh, and it's got all the uh, like band equipment, band musical equipment, guitars, drums, things like that. I think it, I might have captured some in the video, I don't know. It didn't have an outside drinking area, so the landlord has put a, a like raised up a, like a drinking area outside on a like a patio area. Number seven is the Colin at Kimberworth. I think it's Kimberworth. I mean. There were a school across the road, what we call Winter Hill. Now, when I was younger, back in the 70s, uh, that used to be called Old Old School, so I don't know where Winter Hill's come from. 
whether that area is called Winter Hill, I don't know. I always knew it as Kimberwa. Anyway, the Colin at Kimberwa. Now, this were like a sports themed pub. But having said that, the uh, the Euros were on at the time. Uh, but in the lounge area, what I thought was a lounge anyway, it got old pictures of Rotherham on the walls. Uh, and I, I really like that. I like to see uh, old pictures of uh, Rotherham, uh, whether it be town centres or different areas. But uh, anyway, they were on the wall. This had the best outside drinking area of all the pubs that I've went to. It was great. It had little booths to sit in. It had large screen TVs on the wall and speakers. Number eight, the Little Haven at Park Gate. Now, Little Haven, Little Gem more like. Uh, this was a micro pub, but they moved away from the micro pub and moved bang opposite into a bigger premises. Now, whether that's to accommodate more people, I don't know, but the, the name stayed, the Little Haven. Uh, and I've got full admiration for this couple. They've uh, they've stuck at it, uh, and they're making a good go of it. Really great people these were. Uh, she was chatting to me, telling me all sorts of stories, uh, and I hope that they uh, they really do succeed in uh, in, in in their business venture. So from there then, what did I do next? I did the Park Gate Inn. Wow, this were a pleasant surprise to me. Never expected this to be as good as it were, for me anyway, because I like the old traditional style pubs and this were definitely that. Now, the landlady behind the bar was the owner's mother, uh, but again, she was great. She uh, she told me history of the pub, uh, and this was the second cheapest pint that I had. This was two pound ninety for a pint of John Smith's, which was seventy p dearer than the cheapest pint, and seventy p cheaper than the than the dearest pint, if that makes sense. But this was a, this was great. This was a great pint of beer, uh, and it's the uh, the only one that I drank all the beer in in all the pubs that I went in. Number ten was the Alex, also in Park Gate. Now the Park Gate Inn and the Alex are the only two surviving pubs in Park Gate. Now I thought this was shut, but obviously. It's not, uh, and that's a credit to its owner. Uh, it, it's not. It's not a brewery room pub. It's uh, it's owned by uh, Gary. So, thumbs up, Gary, uh, for keeping it going, and he's been there for thirty odd years. So uh, that concludes me ten. But what did I think were best out of these? Well, the went. They weren't a crapper amongst them, but I did set myself a, a criteria, and the criteria was, uh, here look, fingers, and the criteria was, uh, the pub, the hostessing, uh, or hosting, hosting, should I say, the hosting, uh, and the beer, uh, and I've had to those nine, uh, I came up with four, uh, and they are the Plow, the Wilton, the Parkgate Inn, and the Little Haven, also in Parkgate. Now, they were not wrong with any of these, I might add, like I said at the beginning. It's just for a bit of fun, and I am no expert at all. The one I didn't do, uh, I didn't do one in Kimberworth. Now, I didn't do this one because I waited for it to open. 
about two minutes after they un unlocked the doors and they opened them, I went in to see if it, I could do it and they said that they didn't have time. I mean, I was the only person there, but they didn't have time. Uh, and they just said, come back another day. Well, I'm not going to go back. That day's not going to come. So I'm going to close this now, uh, but there will be a series two and the series two will, will be uh, Thorpe Esley, uh, Greensboro, uh, and I'm going to do Maltby. After I've done Maltby, there ain't going to be no more. Now, I'm, I've got to add that I didn't get any of these beers for now. I paid for all my beer. I did nine pubs in total. Uh, they all worked out around about £3.60 by the, the two. Uh, so roughly around about 30 quid. But I only had half a pint. Uh, people said, why didn't you just have half a pint? But then it wouldn't be a pint in the pub, would it? So I had to buy a pint. Only drank half in it. Unless I get invited to do uh, any more, I'll, I'll, not be, I'll not be covering any more. In fact, having said that, I've actually been invited to do uh, the Prince of Wales uh, down in Masbra. So I'll, I'll include that in my series too. So if you, uh, what can I say? If you go to your local uh, and you mention this part in the pub series that I've done uh, and the landlord wants me to do their pub because I've not done it, uh, it doesn't really matter if I've not been in it for 40 odd years, I'll go and do it. So, but I'll not go unless I'm invited to go. So, if you want to mention it and they want to do it, then just send me a message and you can get in touch with me either via Facebook, Rotherman at Facebook or whatever it's called, uh, or on my YouTube community page. So, for now, I'll see the uh, uh, and I'll see the on series two. <laughs>